Notion just added a new feature today and made data entry way simpler. Let me explain the feature with a simple example. Let's open a new inline database and call it database entry made simpler. Let's add in three properties in addition to name and tags, the date, a checkbox and a status property. Let's add in five tasks, tasks one to five. So I'll cheat a little bit by using the Stream Deck Notion profile that I've created and with a button called Auto Data Entry. I'll name the row as task and add five in the count sum and the start count as one. When I enter OK, it'll add five tasks automatically. By the way, if you wanted to pick up a copy of my Stream Deck Notion profile, head over to my website. Now, when you hover the mouse nearer to tasks in the first column, you'll find the checkbox are suddenly appearing. Let's select task two and three. At the top, near the database title, you'll find something that shows one selected and the name of the first three property. Let's select the status property and change task two and three to in progress. Now let's change the tags to project A. Even though the checkbox property is there in the main database, it doesn't seem to be listed. Let's come out and let's move the checkbox property before the status property and try again. Now you'll find the checkbox property, but not the status property. You can simultaneously mark off tasks two and three as done from here quickly. You can change the data simultaneously for all the properties for tasks two and three right from this title bar. Now, if you click on the three dots, you can see the fields like status and you can make the changes from here. Isn't that a neat way to data enter inside of Notion?